An aerial view gave the clearest idea of the status of the forests in Witu. Large tracts of forest land stripped bare of forest cover. On the ground, palm trees tapped almost dry, a practice which harms the trees. And bag after bag of charcoal locked in a shed. These are the sites which met the Kenya Forest Service when they arrived in Witu on a tour to assess the destruction of forests in the country, meeting members of the local community to find solutions to restore the dwindling forest cover. And while both sides agreed that illegal logging had to be stopped, it was evident that it is still ongoing undercover. We've come on um, a surprise visit, an inspection of the forest and um, the moratorium to see whether it's being observed. Indigenous trees are being cut. This cannot be acceptable. So our officers will be responsible for this. We cannot allow indigenous trees which have been here for 100 years to be cut, whether they are in community forest, whether they are in private forest, or whether they are in public forest. So this must stop. Residents urging the Kenya Forest Service to commit to conserving the forests, keeping out loggers who target indigenous trees to make profit from the bags of charcoal they put up for sale. Ikiwa mimi ni mtu peke yangu, ninaweza kugundua mambo kama haya. Serikali ambayo kwa ina machinery za kutosha, inakwenda kwendaje paka mambo kama haya yanatokea. Hii si mtu ya kwamba anataka kwenda kupika mboga nyumbani. Hii inakuja semi trailer inasimama hapa na inapakia. Na tuna department na watu kibao hapa mba ukuwa nafanya kazi witu kwa idara ya forest. Lakini sijui ni kwa njia gani wao hawezi kuona waharibifu kama huu. And our Kenya Forest Service officers must learn to work with all the organizations which are on the ground. And utmost, they must start to learn to work with the communities. Communities and Kenyans also need to police their forests. We cannot get enough people to do this. Yes. The tour coincided with Environment Cabinet Secretary Keriago Tobiko's journey to Kajiado County to sensitize residents about tree planting and forest conservation. But also as we ban charcoal, let's also be realistic because we must provide our people with alternatives. Because they must cook, okay? They must cook food, right? So let's also work together to come up with uh, alternatives to enable our people to uh, do away with uh, the government, in conjunction with World Wildlife Foundation, has now launched Keep Kenya Breathing, a campaign aimed at increasing the country's forest cover by planting trees in priority areas such as water sources, wildlife habitats and agricultural zones. In Kenya, close to 80% of the land is arid or semi-arid. Wilkisanyabo Citizen Weekend.